What's up? So today I'm gonna show you something I did yesterday. I was going to do a how-to, but then I thought, you know what? This is simple enough that I can just kind of tell you what I did and show you the results, because that's really kind of what people care about is what's it look like. I bedlined my fenders on my TJ. Um, I hate the look of faded fenders, and they look even more horrible whenever it's against black, because you can really tell. So this is one way to uh, put a band-aid on it, I guess, until you either get aftermarket fenders or figure something else out. Well, I went to Lowe's and I got Rust-Oleum truck bed coating and it was like eight bucks a uh, can. I used one full can. I still have actually a little bit left. After that, I came home and I, oop, dog alert. After that, I came home and I cleaned everything off with a degreaser and then I followed that with a waterless car wash and then I taped everything off. So a little hack, actually let me get to this one since it's in the shade. A little hack for you, there is a gap between your back fenders, a gap, it's teeny tiny. Um, I slid paper in there so I didn't have to go around with tape and meticulously tape all the way around. Um, so I slid paper and taped it up here. That made the back like half the time that it took to do the front. And it really doesn't take that long, that's just quicker. So after I taped it off and I cleaned it, um, I do not, let me preface this as well. I've never used sandpaper whenever I paint plastic. I've painted fenders before, never had a problem. Um, some people like using sandpaper. If it makes you feel better, do that. But be sure and clean it afterwards to get all the leftover crap off. So after that, I started in the back and worked my way around. And I did three layers on each. It recommends two, I did three. And the wait time between it was long enough for me to do that, do that, do that, do that. And then by the time I got back around, it was ready to be sprayed again. How this comes out, it comes out a little bit quicker than spray paint. So I started in a motion and then pressed the trigger as I was going in a motion. Just little spurts like tss, 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 sort of thing. Um, just to keep any kind of overspray or anything like that from happening. But I think it, it turned out really well. Like I said, I did uh, multiple layers. I guess it's prefer preferential again, um, how many you do. One thing I did after I finished, I took everything off, is I went around with a clay bar and got any kind of overspray. Um, I just used a Chemical Guys detailer and it took any overspray that I had off. Um, and that works really well as well. I will show you a little cinematic of the fenders. Um, but other than that, I really like the way they turned out and I think it looks sharp. If I have to do them every so often, you know, once or twice a year, I don't mind. 